Hey, what's going on guys? My name is AlexGT Gaming, and I'm here just to talk about the long-awaited announcement of the third installment of a long-running series, Mafia. Now, if you've kept your ear out around gaming news sites, you'd obviously know that this image conceptualizing the location and time period the game takes place in was released out of nowhere by Take-Two Interactive's Twitter page. Not much is to really be said about it, but obviously the details on the bottom stick out like a sore thumb. A date in which the game will be revealed at Gamescom worldwide, and when a reveal will be released worldwide for people to watch. Now, here's what we know so far. Jack shit. In fact, nothing has really been extensively confirmed by 2K Setch or Hangar 13, the new developing team working on this installment. However, there is quite a bit of speculation surrounding this entire game. In fact, looking into details from the previous Mafia installment and other little details left behind by 2K may hint at what the new game will contain. There's plenty to be seen, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So if you followed Mafia 2's development and did a little investigation, you would know by now that there is plenty of cut content to be seen. In fact, there's so much cut content that some people even consider Mafia 2 to be an incomplete game because of it. These cut features and content removals range from small to insignificant to huge in gameplay changing. Things like cut vehicles to cut storyline characters, cut weapons and to names that are completely different from the final product are all parts of the very changes of what we have now. One of the biggest pieces of cut content are all the features that they removed from the final game. Now before I continue, please keep in mind that there are spoilers in this video for both Mafia and Mafia 2. If you haven't played either of those games, do yourself a favor and do so as soon as you can. Trust me, you won't regret it. Now, onto the features. Betting on dog races was conceptualized during the development of Mafia 2, and ended up becoming one of the many features cut from the final game. While dogs did exist in Mafia 2, they were largely useless and only served as a backdrop decoration, only appearing in some missions in alleyways of Empire Bay, and had very little purpose. There are no betting stations or buildings that support this cut feature, but a line of code clearly points to the premise. Money-related features pertain to the majority of cut content. Among things like dog betting were features such as buying newspapers, food, appliances, and even entire houses. These features may have shared a resemblance within Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where you'd be able to buy individual properties like houses or restaurants and earn a form of income. Jobs that served as side missions also existed in Mafia 2, but they ended up never being successfully utilized. They'd be loosely connected and earn small sums of money for you, but their appearance in the world remains for the most part unknown. Now, if you've gotten into a fist fight in Mafia 2, you obviously know that the fist fighting system is rather complex and fleshed out for a game of its type. According to lines of code, this system would be expanded upon through a fight club where you'd fight a variety of enemies in alleyways or in a man-made ring. In the same line of code, money and honor is given to reference. It's possible that a reputation system exists in Mafia 2, further lamented by these lines of code, but was never implemented and may make an appearance in 3. Based on the lines of code surrounding reputation, it's implied that the meter would be strictly good and bad, but it's likely 2K felt as if it didn't fit in the world of a mobster. In interactions of the world didn't just stop there though. An underground subway tunnel was planned to be utilized in the base game, but didn't make the cut. By clipping under the map you can see the entire railway system, and looking further into cut content you can see an unused cab texture. One interesting thing to take note of is that in one of the DLCs, Joe's Adventures, the subway is fully functional, and is usable in the base game through a replacement of a few files. If Mafia 3 is to be planned to be a full open world experience, then it's likely this feature will return and be fully panned out. A gun carrying license used to exist in Mafia 2 as well as a lockpick leveling system, but were unfortunately discarded. Not much are known about about these two features, and it's unknown how a gun license would be utilized, and in the final game, you are only able to lockpick cars. The last of these cut features would be removed menu options that resemble the last game's menu options. Things such as Quick Fight, which supports the concept of Fight Club, and Quick Race were options seen in the menu. Among these are Free Ride, and another story button that didn't make the final game. As you can obviously tell, there are a plethora of cut features from Mafia 2, but it doesn't just stop right there. You can check the rest of these out from the CuttingRoomFloor.net, which is a website that catalogs the missing and changed content from most popular games. With that said, I'd like to personally thank whomever assisted the creation of Mafia 2's page, as it helped me out a lot during this video. Next up, we have more speculation and clues as to what Mafia 3 is going to be, and it lies within... So Rick Pasqualone, the voice actor for Vito Scaletta, said himself after Christmas Day that there would be Mafia news very soon. It's rumored that he was casted for a role in Mafia 3, but his role isn't precisely known. It could be that he returns as Vito Scaletta and we receive closure based around Joe's demise at the end of Mafia 2, however this is purely speculation and may turn out to be entirely false. What we do know, however, is that the team for Mafia 3 is casting for multiple main characters. It's worth mentioning that Take-Two Interactive was directly involved with the development of a huge hit, Grand Theft Auto V, which had a trio of main characters that you could switch from. It's relatively unlikely that they're going to follow the switch formula that GTA V did, but it could be that, at specific chapters, the main character you control will change. Not much else is very known about Mafia 3 through licensing, but it's highly likely that a lot of the cut features that I talked about will be added. And through the evidence collected, it's safe to conclude that the next installment of Mafia will be much more like a Grand Theft Auto game than any other installment. 
while still retaining the grit that made Mafia successful. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you'd like to read on further, check the link in the description. Stay tuned for Gamescom 2015 and for the reveal of Mafia 3, and don't forget to subscribe and give me a like as it helps and encourages me to make more content. See you later.